guess what? I am sitting with Rambo right now in the Porsche. What's up, Rambo? This is my dog. So I'm heading out to uh, my mom's house right now to drop off the dog. And then after that, we're going to go to Ducati of Newport Beach because you guys requested and you want to know how hot the B4S gets compared to the previous models. I'm turning back time just to see it all again. Want to know if I'm all right. Before I head to my mom's house, going to take Rambo for a little walk. And uh, it's a pretty hot day, so we're not going to be out for too long, but it's pretty out here. We're in Rancho Bernardo right now. Come on, boy. What is going on, my dudes? Guess what? I am back at Ducati of Newport Beach, and I am gonna be testing out and doing some scientific research. <laughs> yeah, this is so funny. I'm doing scientific research, figure out how hot the new V4S gets, the 2020 model. And uh, I got my temperature gauge with me. I'm gonna be using that temperature gauge, the same one I used for the V2, to see what the differences are between the, v the 2018 model and the 2020 model and then we're going to take the 2020 model on a test ride but uh before we get to all that stuff i'm going to warm up the bike a little bit because i want to see how hot it gets just sitting down doing nothing and then after that we're going to take it for a test ride so uh, in the meantime please give this video a like tell the alg algorithms that i'm doing a fantastic job and also subscribe to the channel as you can see i'm doing some important scientific research for you guys and there's going to be a lot of good stuff coming along as you already know and my channel is brimming with hot ducati videos all sorts of stuff so really good reason and really good time right now to subscribe to the channel you can always come back there's always something entertaining for you guys to watch Let's warm this baby up and see how hot she gets. It's a neutral right now. Boom. Oh, I miss how, how beautiful this bike sounds. So right now the engine temperature is on low because the bike hasn't been started probably all day. But we're gonna give this about 15 minutes. I'm gonna set my timer right now. We're gonna we're gonna run this for about 15 minutes. All right, so the, the timer is set for 15 minutes. We're going to come back, and then I got my I got my uh, thermometer here. It's kind of it's a food thermometer, and it's got a probe which you can stick inside of your meat. <laughs> that sounds so hilarious. Yeah, you can stick this inside of your meat to check the temperature. <laughs> so, but the cool news is that this thing also has an infrared thing. So we're going to point it at the bike in different areas. And I'm going to tell you how hot the bike gets, but that's in about 15 minutes. Until then, stick around. Alright guys, so the bike has been running for about 15 minutes already. And the, the temperature is, it doesn't have like a readout like the V2 does. It doesn't tell you exactly what the temperature is. Let's go ahead and give the different panels a test like we did on the V2. So the seat is 126 Fahrenheit. All of these readings are going to be in Fahrenheit. But it has been under the sun, so I can understand. The side panel here, it's got a readout of 118. This has a readout of 113, the side panel, where your leg would go. The tank has got a reading of 98. On this side is also, on this side, surprisingly, it says 92. Let's try that again. Yeah, this side says 98 for some reason. Okay, the clutch area, we got 120, 151 for the side of the engine, and it's pretty hot to the touch. The right side where you would put your leg, the metal piece is 137, the plastic sheet covering is about 118, 
and on the side we got 106 the back area doesn't get that hot surprisingly I thought it would get a whole lot more hot but it's 92 it's not that bad even even the pipe is not hot you could touch it with your hand it's reading it's reading 105 so that's not too bad let's try the uh, exhaust the exhaust is reading 145 all right so I think now I think it's time for us to take it for a ride god I miss riding the V4S such an exciting beast of a bike this thing is huh <laughs> she just said I'm awesome oh yes V4S power baby currently in sport mode and the engine temperature is reading halfway Policia so the engine temperature right now is halfway like I said and on the left and right hand side I feel a little bit of heat but it's nothing considerable and I have made the and I have warmed up the bike considerably I let the bike sit for about 15 minutes as you already know so the temperatures are definitely up oh god I love this bike man it sounds so delicious beastly beast all right so we've been sitting down for a while waiting for that light and the seat is pretty cool I don't feel anything under the seat I think they did a fantastic job where that pipe underneath the seat is like the Pentagali, like the uh, 959 and the V2, it doesn't really get that hot. But now I'm starting to feel a little bit of the heat on my left side, where uh, where my left uh, where my left calf is. That'll be interesting to see once the uh, once the uh, speed goes up, will the will the temperature get down or not? And like before, the temperature is about 70 degrees. The air temperature is about 70 degrees Fahrenheit. All these temperatures, by the way, are in Fahrenheit. I know uh, all my friends down under where the kangaroos live, where all the world's kangaroos live, are, uh, are probably counting as Celsius. I'm not really sure, but everything that I talk about will be in Fahrenheit. Us US folk use the upside down backwards method. <laughs> that you guys think is backwards, but we don't think so. Yep, this bike definitely runs more hot than the V2. The V2 does not run this hot. I feel it on my left. My left calf right now is really hot. And get, mind you, I'm wearing riding jeans. I'm not wearing like regular jeans here or shorts. If you're wearing shorts, forget it. You're gonna be cooked. By the time you get back, you'll be medium well. I highly suggest that if you're gonna buy this bike and ride it on a regular basis, you get yourself some proper riding attire. Right now I have race boots from Dionysi. I have some really cool jeans that I bought. They have the, uh, the fabric inserts. They have the inserts and everything. It's a Kevlar system uh, mixed with a whole bunch of other fabric. So it's it, I, although I feel it, I can imagine how much more I would feel the heat if I wasn't wearing these type of jeans. But the engine temperature has gone down one bar while we're moving, but I still feel the heat. It's quite considerable. Now, now the heat is only on my left side. It's not on my right side for some reason. Maybe that's going to change later. I don't know. bike has got some pull oh, holy shit I completely forgot you better make sure your neck is attached if you're gonna twist the throttle on this baby and just like the V2 the downshift on this is butter now surprisingly the temperature cooled down a little bit on my left hand side but now I feel more of the heat on my right side where my calf is so here's the hypothesis I think here's here's what's going on I think I think what's happening is is that uh, this some some of the cylinders shut off whenever you're standing still the the uh, from the 2020 models I believe they have new technology where they shut off two of the cylinders so uh, so currently I'm in sport mode but I'm not sure if that's really happening in sport mode or I have to be in street mode or I don't know whatever they call it wet mode street mode well, I have to be in that mode for it to turn on.
but uh, for some reason the heat cycles from the left side to the right side it's nothing unbearable it's not like oh my god I gotta get off this bike because it's burning me up and uh, I'm, I'm gonna be in flame soon it's nothing like that it's more like all right this is what I notice none of what I'm talking about is unbearable heat it's just heat it's a Pentagali the, 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 the motorcycle is 100% engine so you would expect something like this to be that way I'm glad we're hitting some traffic here because I can give you some scientific proof out of my findings. Well, my findings tell me that the seat is getting a little bit warm right now. Yep, we're cruising about 33, 35 miles an hour, second gear, but once again I feel the heat, nothing unbearable, but it is getting hot. I could imagine if the air temperature was 80 degrees and above, this would get seriously hot. If in fact, the second cylinder does shut off on the 2020 model when it's idle or when it's uh, in neutral. I'll be able to tell because the heat readings will show for itself. As I've been riding about 15 minutes right now, 49 miles per hour, cruising speed basically, third gear. And I'm noticing that the heat transferred from the left side to my right side. And now the temperature from the right side to the left side, I would say is about 70-30. So strange that you first feel it on your left, then it transfers over to the right. Let's stop here. Check this place out. Same place I stopped for the V2. I don't know if you guys remember. All right, that was a nice little break. All right, I think we're gonna put this baby on race mode now. Let's see how hot she gets on race mode. Oh yeah! Guys, I think it's time we go to Mexico. Oh shit. All right. Now we're back. The things I do for you guys, Mexico and back. Just a test ride and give you guys my opinion. You guys deserve every one of these you know why because now i have 1300 subscribers thanks to you my viewership is going up subscriber count is going up and with your help we can get more likes on this video and hopefully you can subscribe to my channel as you can see there's so many good things So yeah, to conclude, uh, the engine doesn't get super hot. It's 70 degrees at the moment, the air temperature. The engine temperature is somewhere in between low and high. I don't know the exact temperature of the engine. It doesn't tell me, but I do see the bars and it's in the middle. And honestly, with, I have riding jeans on and with my riding jeans, it doesn't really get that hot. I don't really feel anything. I mean, I feel it. The temp, the, uh, the, the heat came on my left side now as opposed to my right side. So it changes, it goes from left to right. And I don't know why it does that or how it does that. But right now I feel it more on my left side. And as I'm riding 68 miles an hour in third gear, it's getting considerably warm. Borderline really hot. So it depends on your riding style. It depends what kind of gear you ride with. And uh, if, you're, if you're wearing leathers, which this bike is designed for, if you're wearing leathers and you're on the track, I don't, I don't think heat's gonna be on your mind. But if you're just cruising out and about and you're wearing shorts, you're basically gonna be burned by the time you get back. You'll definitely be medium well. Your legs are gonna be roasted, rotisserie style. <laughs> but uh, that being said, with a good pair of jeans, 
and some uh, good riding boots. Like I'm wearing uh, Dainese racing boots right now. And that's my typical riding gear. I wear that when I'm in the track. I wear that when I'm in the street. It's the safest way possible. Not only does it keep away the heat, but it also uh, makes you uh, a lot more safer on the street just in case anything happens. As I'm idle, the fans are coming on right now and I can hear them and it's getting warmer. Just like before, my V2 video, my GoPro died on me. So I don't know how much of this footage came out, but hopefully there's enough to prove some of the points that I made. But I got my uh, little thermometer here. This is an indoor thermometer. It's not really, it's a, an infrared thing, so it's not really meant for outdoors. So you guys really can't see it, but I'm gonna read to you everything that it says. The side panel, I'm getting a reading of 125. The metal piece on the left-hand side over here, I'm getting 150. A little bit above that where your legs usually go. I'm getting 127. The tank is reading about 100. 102 on the right side. We got 178 on this side here. And uh, the clutch cover, it's reading 185. 130 degrees underneath the seat. The seat itself is 117 Fahrenheit. All these temperatures are in Fahrenheit once again. The center of the tank is reading about 98, between 98 and 100. So overall, the bike is pretty comfortable, but the thing is that the air temperature right now is about 70 degrees. And I'm wearing riding jeans. If you look at my jeans, these are Kevlar riding jeans. And I have Dainese boots that cover me up. So these are really protecting. And if you're going to buy a bike like the V4, it's got a really, really hot engine, considerably hotter than the V2, you're definitely going to need like riding gear. If you wear just a, a pair of uh, regular jeans or even a pair of shorts, your, your legs are going to be cooked medium well. And so I highly recommend that you get yourself some proper riding gear if you're going to buy the V4S, especially if you live in a hot climate. Otherwise, it's not going to be a comfortable bike and you're not going to want to ride this thing for a long period of time. Now, if you're constantly moving, it's not that big of a deal, but but uh, stop and go traffic is definitely gonna bother you, and I don't recommend riding this bike. If you live in a really hot climate and you're doing stop and go traffic, I don't know about your tolerance. Everybody's got a different tolerance, but if I were to buy this bike, I would definitely get a uh, proper riding gear. And that's basically it. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope uh, this was good information for you, and I hope uh, you learned something here. I absolutely learned something. I learned that the, gear sh the, the heat shifts from the left side to the right side and back for some reason. And I don't know if that's because the valves are closing and, and opening. The cylinders are uh, shutting off and turning back on as I heard that the, the 2020 model does. But regardless, it's something that I, that I learned for the first time. And I hope that uh, you guys take this information and hopefully it's useful for you. Please don't forget to give this video a like and also subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys on the next episode. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.